This is a demonstration of how to collect data from the autoradiography images provided as part of the NeuroVisions lab seeing GABA-A receptors at work. The first step is to scroll back to the top of the page and find the link to the ImageJ data collection tool. When you click on that, the ImageJ applet will begin to load. Click Run or Allow on a Mac to let this applet load on your computer. Once it does, you're going to see an ImageJ window on the left, and on the right, a white instructions window with a control panel with several buttons above. We'll be working through these instructions by clicking the links at the bottom of each page to move through the instructions, or you can move around among the instructions by using the tab names at the top. In the instructions, you'll find um, several tips and notes. All you have to do is hover over them with the cursor, and it'll pop up and give you help with that step. We've also provided a link to an image of the six regions of interest you'll be selecting and measuring during this activity. You can close that image by clicking on the link again. Or just click directly on the image to close it. To open the first image, pull down the file menu and go to open data. Click on the first image. Once it opens, we're going to need to change this elliptical selection tool to the brush tool. We've made a macro for that, so just press E on your keyboard and you'll see the tool change. Now we're going to zoom in on the left hip of campus by clicking the magnifying glass tool and then clicking three times on the center of the left hip of campus. One, two, three. Now move on to the next page of instructions. Once we've clicked over here in the instruction window, we've made this the act window. In order to collect data from the image, we need to click on the image window, but since we have the magnifying glass, we'll select it, that'll come in, and we don't want that. So go ahead and click on the brush tool. That activates that tool as well as the window, and you're ready to start selecting regions. The first region is the C1 Orient. So you click and drag select the whole region. When you let go of the cursor, you can click L, another macro that labels this selection. You'll see a new window up here called the RL Manager. So that first region of interest that you selected is listed there. You'll also notice that the region you selected has turned blue instead of yellow. That way you know it's been labeled already and it's being stored in this uh, window until you're ready to measure all this at once. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the, the um, instruction side again and uh, click on the labeled image. You can see all six regions we're going to be selecting. And then we will move on to the next set of instructions. The second region is the CA1 radiatum. And even though I didn't do a perfect job of selecting that region, it isn't going to matter. The data are robust enough that small errors will not affect the analysis we're going to run. I'm going to click L and label that one. You can check in your um, ROI manager to see which regions you've already selected by pulling down the window menu. And you'll see we now have the first two regions. Now I'm going to go to the third region, the CA3 region. Click and drag and press L. Then the CA3 radiatum. The dentate gyrus superior blade. And last, the inferior blade. Now we have all six regions labeled and they're ready to be measured. We've made a, um, a macro for that also, so all you need to do is press M on your keyboard, and all six regions will be measured. You'll see the results window appear. 
and then go ahead and move on to the next page instruction. The, the measurements haven't disappeared, just the window. You need to close that image you were using to see the, the um, six regions so that you can collect those six measurements for this first image. Use the collect data for an image button. When you click this, those six measurements were sent to our server and saved under your username. So they're going to be there whether you go in and out of this program or not. You can leave the lab, come back later, and this image will still be here. If you want to see the measurements for that image or any of the other ones after you've collected them, you click on View Data, and it'll open those six measurements you just made. You can close it by clicking on the measurements or on the View Data button again. Once you've made your six measurements for this image, bring that results wheel back to the front, and in order to clear the measurements and get to measure your second image, you're going to need to close this window and do not save the measurements. You've already saved them on the server. You don't need to save them here in the results window. You're now ready to collect image from image data from the second image. You don't need to close the first one. You can if you want, but we'll just open the second one, and you're ready to start the process over again. You zoom in. Click your brush tool and start selecting and labeling each of the six regions. When you get done collecting um, the data from all 12 images, then you're ready to close MHJ applet and move on to the statistical analysis section of the lab.